LDBC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks, take this ride with the coach, and that's just the way that is. All right. Now, the coach is sick and tired of this red light. I mean, the coach is tired of it. I sat back and I get at this red light every day. And the same thing, okay? It makes you wait for five to ten minutes. Well, I can tell you right now, the coach ain't finna wait five to ten minutes for this red light to change. You can forget about that. Coach ain't. The coach gonna run this red light right now. Okay, and the coach just did. So look, y'all. Let's let's get serious here for a minute, okay? All right. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. Um, a lot of people are, are still pretty much, man, asleep. Like, I'm talking about asleep. And it's not going to take long for you to wake up because the stuff that's happening, that's coming, it's coming. Okay, things are coming. Things are coming through the pipe. Okay, and I can tell you this right now. Okay, you have people that have a hard time believing anything because if you tell them something that's out of the ordinary they're gonna think that you are a conspiracy theorist that's that's what they call you you know and um you know me and me and my boy you know he, he cool guy man we grew up as kids and um you know and I, I sat back and i said listen man you know you need to be careful because uh you know they, they pulling over hispanic people and they doing it you know just because of the way you look and he looked, he said, nah, man, you know, hey, I'm good, man. You know, I've been here and I got all my paperwork. But he was telling me all that. I said, man, I said, I'm just saying, be, be careful. And, you know, we cool. But he's one of those type of people, man, that he don't believe it until it's there. And it's like, you know, when I tell people, I say, you know what? You know, curing heart disease is very easy. Like, that's one of the most curable things on earth that you can do in a matter of months. It's curable. Even if you have terminal heart disease, you can cure yourself in, what, two months. And now he did believe that because, you know, when he was diagnosed and you know, doctor was telling him, you know, he may not make it through the year and all that. I said, hey, man, I said, listen, <laughs> we ain't finna take all these drugs, man. Hey, went nah. I said, listen, you do what I tell you to do. And I guarantee you that you beat this thing. And so now that that he listened to. I mean, he listened to it and, you know, gave him the protocol. And psh, man, listen. His doctors are amazed. They don't even know, you know, how he even got sick with that. They just, because he's, you know, running marathons and stuff like that. So, I mean, all of that stuff, man. But when you tell the everyday person, hey, you can, you know, you, you can actually cure heart disease and diabetes. Like, you can cure those. They look at you like you're crazy. And then you think, and then, they, you know, the first thing I get is, well, why? Why don't the doctors tell you that? I mean, have you ever thought that curing disease doesn't make money? And it comes down to money. But, see, I don't want to digress on that. But I was telling him, I said, listen, you need to be careful. Because even here in my city, I've been seeing, like, a lot of checkpoints. And they just, you know, randomly pulling people over. Now, they pulled, you know, they had, I saw three checkpoints in this last month. And they saw me, they just waved me on by. But now the guy behind me wasn't Hispanic. And I said, now, I wonder what they doing. So what I did is I pulled my car over, you know, so they couldn't see me. Man, look, they pulled this dude out the car. They pulled him out the car, they searched his car. You know, kids over there crying. And they didn't do that to just him. They did that to several people that were Hispanic, that were passing by, they took him out of the car, you know, patted him down like they're criminals. And you can look at, you can look at these folks, you can tell that they're not criminals, I mean, they were just honest folks that's going home or working, you know, those kind of people. But I'm just saying, you know, all this stuff, man, that's going on is real. And I sat back and I'm like, man, you know what? Like, I wonder why they told they waved me by. But then again, I, I think they think that most black people are not immigrants here. So they're not going to pull you over. Guys, it's getting real. Y'all better wake up. And so I was telling my friend this, man, be careful. I, you know, have all your stuff with you. You know, he came, uh, he told me, uh, called me and said, look, coach. He said, man, they pulled me over. And um, he was saying they were trying to deport me or saying that I could get deported. But he's, he's legal, man. He's got all his paperwork. And, I mean, he's got everything. He's been here for like 25 years. But it didn't matter. They saw that, you know, he was Latino, Hispanic, and they pulled him over. I mean, man, it's, it's about to get real. 
I'm going to tell you what I suggest to people. Stop being dumbed down, man. Stop looking at everything with a dumb eye. Stop being so stupid. Like, when people try to tell you that we are probably getting ready for war. All the signs point to a war. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. And this is a part of Coastal Dominance that I want to be wrong. Like, I really want this to be wrong. But I think we're gearing up. I think we're gearing up for war. And I'm going to tell you, man, hey, either you're ready or you're not. Either you're ready or you're not, but you need to wake up. Y'all need to wake up. Because some of y'all, it's like y'all don't think that, you know, alternative uh, dimensions exist. Y'all don't think demons exist. I mean, people, you got to wake up. There's about to be a spiritual and a physical warfare that's about to happen. I'm trying to tell y'all. So don't be shocked. Don't be shocked when a civil war happened right within the country. And it's going to be, it's going to be deep. It's going to be deep. Are you prepared? I done stocked up on, man, look, I've been stocking up for years on survival items. I've been stocking up for years. Weaponry. Because you have to. Because I'm telling y'all, man, if you're not ready to fight, then you're going to be ready to die. And I'll be ready to die, but I'm going to die fighting. See, that's just how it is. I'm going to die fighting. I'm going to die fighting to the end. Y'all better start being aware, man. I mean, I'm, I'm always armed, man. I'm, I'm ready. Because people, all of this stuff ain't no coincidence. Things that's happening ain't no coincidence. And I just think a lot of y'all, man, y'all need to wake up. Just like, you know, when I said, hey, there's a company called, uh, there's a company called Seminex that they're putting uh, embryo stem cells in flavoring to make the flavoring. Man, you know, I had a lot of people, oh, coach, man, you just, you making it up. Why would they do that? <laughs> and if you go do your research, <clears throat> excuse me, if you do your research, a company called Seminex does exist and they do use embryonic stem cells and put it in food. The main product that they use, they put it in Mountain Dew. I tried to tell y'all. I don't know what it's going to take for a lot of y'all to wake up, but I tell you this. If you don't wake up now, you're going to get woken up. You are going to get woken up. But see, when you wake up, everything is going to already take place. And then it's going to be too late. Because you will have sat back and let all these things happen without preparing yourself. How many of y'all going to be prepared? How many of you going to be armed and ready to the max? How many? Do you really still think that these are all conspiracy theories now? Do, do you really think that guys like me or Northwest Boxing, do you think that we've lost our mind? Do you think 78 Sports TV is crazy? I mean, do you guys really think that we've lost our mind? Or, or, do we have a level of consciousness and awareness about what's going on than a lot of people? I mean, honestly. Folks, the handwriting is on the wall. We're getting up for war. And I just say this. You're going to get to a point where it's time to fight. See, all this stuff that we talk about, the boxing, the MMA, it's all fun. It's all fun, and that's a different fight. But see, this is a real fight. And there are no winners or losers in this fight. They're only survivors. Are you going to be a survivor? Are you going to survive the Holocaust that's going to come right here within our country? Are you? Or are you going to sit back, call everybody a witch doctor, call everybody crazy, call everybody a devil worshiper and all this other mess? Or are y'all going to get y'all stuff together and be prepared for war? People, wake up. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.